All right, so this is going to be a Taurus and Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising, a weekly general tarot reading June 1st to June 7th, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, private reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which uh, you, we can or you can purchase such. And uh, as well, if you are interested in to start reading tarot cards, my beginner's tarot class is starting at the 21st of June. To sign up for it, you got to go to the tarot classes section of my website and just purchase uh, the class. So that being said, um, the first card, which marks the very topic of your week, um, Taurus is going to be the two of wands, followed by the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. That is going to be the six of pentacles. Followed next, it is uh, the... Um, Challenges that you will have to overcome here. That is going to be the seven of swords Afterwards, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy that is going to be the ten of uh, cups Followed by the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that is to be the four of pentacles and the last one which got which stands as the guidance that um, Taro is offering to you that will be uh, the Eight of Cups. So uh, this this reading for that week, it is uh, much of a, a confirmation that you do have a clear green light to move on forward with your things and that you have done the right thing, if you will. So what we do have here is those two at the start, which uh, stands for the um, energies and the um, topic itself. So energy-wise, the Six of Pentacles here pretty much points that uh, you are moving with the current you are supposed to move, okay, with the endeavors that you are supposed to develop, with the relationship that you are supposed, with the kind of, not with the exact relationship, but say with the kind of relationship status that you are supposed to be in. Now, the thing with those energies, it is like um, that kind of a thing that if you don't help yourself, nobody can help you really. So with... Uh, Within that week, uh, whatever you are to achieve under those energies, you, can't, you, you have to accomplish it by yourself. You can't rely on anybody else's help. I mean, you can have help, but that help is not going to resolve your issue. The best thing that the help is, can and will do is to, to postpone the inevitable. So ultimately, at the end, you have to roll up your sleeves and tackle with the enterprise by yourself. Now, the Six of Pentacles as well, it's a pretty good card pointing that you can actually rely on your creative expression. Being said that the current right now that you are in will allow you a bit more freedom than before. So you can experiment, you know, with your skills, with your knowledge or acquire a new skills, a new knowledge, which is, by the way, a very advisable because because of the current itself here with the... Um, with the situation itself, which is the two of wands, it kind of marks a, a position that you're going to find yourself either career wise or either relationship wise, where a good accomplishment is to be established, meaning that you are going to have some um, some achievements there. But also the two of wands is the card pointing that you are far from over. I mean, you have so much more to accomplish and therefore the good results that you have established by now, by the start of this week, you should not stop there, but you should seek to improve or to expand, it is the better word here, on those um, on those results. You know, no different than the result maybe that you have finished in an education, and now it's time for you to expand on that, to find a, a, a thing, you know, for example, to not to find a thing, but to sign up for a, a magister degree as you have finished a, a, uni, um, a, a bachelor's degree, all right? So it's like expanding on your current positions and on your current, uh, current achievements and results as well. And that is great because that means that you can expand on your current relationship, you know, you can expand on your current social circle, you can expand on your um, current position into your career uh, and acquire even more dividends moving forward into the future. So what is going to be the challenge here? The challenge is the challenge of the Seven of Swords. And now 
uh, that's the bummer, all right? Because with the Seven of Swords, uh, as the energies points that you are moving with the right current and, and you can't expand on your results, mm, if that depends on somebody else, uh, they will not going to give it to you lightly. And that's why you got to stand for your own personal rights. That is what is going to be uh, the challenge itself. Meaning that if you are um, kind of like accomplishing things that deserve raising salary, you have to stand for your rights and ask for that salary. OK, uh, if you do things that you think that um, you need a, a bigger appreciation into your relationship, you have to stand for your rights and demand for that appreciation. Because this card here points that if you do not call for yourself, okay, uh, it's just they, they, they are going to take you for granted. The situation itself is going to take you for granted. So you have to think about your agenda here and you have to think about, you know, the, the, the place that you want to find yourself at the end of the road following, you know, this, this current that you are going by with. And uh, uh, pretty much what the challenge for you is going to be is to collect the rewards, not the results. The results, you're going to have them. But those results are, breed are breeding rewards. And the challenge for you is going to be to collect the rewards that you do so much deserve. And once again, you have to um, stand for your rights. You have to storm your situations if you have to. Okay. Uh, and at the end of the day, if you do those two things, you're going to have the, um, the rewards that your results are breeding. Moving next, we do have the um, gifts and the blessings that you're going to uh, that you get to enjoy. So pretty much you're going to be very pleased with your progress here with the Ten of Wands. And it will feel like at some point that you pretty much don't need anything else. OK, and that is a true blessing into one's life to feel that, you know, they had they, they are fulfilled. That is the way that's how you're going to feel. But also the Ten of uh, not Ten of Wands, I'm sorry, Ten of Cups, a bit tired, you know, long day recording those videos. But um, with the Ten of Cups, but the Ten of Cups also gives you a room for improvement because with the Ten of Cups, no matter how much one person has, one person can always go for more. And here that is your blessing that even though the current circumstances are going to be completely life fulfilling, OK, and you're going to be very pleased with how the things are going in terms of career and in terms of relationship by the uh, results, OK, the rewards, that is a different thing, but you're going to be very pleased with the results you may think at some point you know well i can't possibly go for more well yes you can and you should okay that is your gift and that is your blessing so moving next it is the impression of the people around and that will be the impression of the four of pentacles so a couple of impressions here people first of all are going to see you very uh firm standing if i may say it that way that you are gonna guard with tooth and nails whatever you have accomplished by now and if somebody tries to undermine your your progress someone tries to undermine your results they are gonna face a formidable force in your um in your face as a uh, resistance so that being said people are going to see you adopting a, a defensive position or measures, I would say, because you may not need it, but yet better safe than sorry, you know, a defensive measures in terms of your current overall possessings and current overall uh, results in terms of um, as a, a product of your actions. And the other thing that people are going to have an impression into is that right now is the moment where you are to establish a, a secure future for yourself. OK, so that right now is the moment where you act and where you cash in on the results that your previous actions have breeded up until now. And that's why you got to stand for your rights. And the last card here, which is the uh, guidance, uh, it's a bit of a bummer. Once again, we do have the Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups pretty much points that you need to know your boundaries and your limits, meaning that you should not demand for more than you actually deserve. That is something that you need to have the mental awareness of. And um, the other thing is that you need to know when to stop. OK, and you need to know when to to move forward as well. Uh, what I am trying to say it is that to some of you, because they are going to understand that they can go for more, that could be a bit poignant 
for as ridiculous as, as it may sound because uh, to me it would be poignant because i'm pretty happy of how i'm set up it right now for example okay and going for more that we just only going going only going to cause a, a a stress into my life but although that may look a bit how can i say poignant and misfortunate it offers a super duper good a um perspective moving forward so that's why you need to know when to stop and you need to know or to be true to yourself rather because you're gonna know you need to be true to yourself when to stop and you need to be true to yourself you know when you should push forward so that being said taurus this was your weekly general tarot reading june 1st to june 7 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you are uh, interested in a private reading you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from where you can purchase such and the other thing is that my tarot classes are starting at 21st of june these are the beginners tarot classes so if you are eager to learn to read tarot cards and you want me to um teach you how to do it so you like the way i do it um you can sign up for them by going uh, under the tarot classes section of my website and purchasing the class itself. It is a six weeks long a tarot class. So yeah, that being said, uh, this was this was all from from me for now, and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.